All right. We now welcome on Inside TBT Quarantine Edition, Josh Perkins, member of Team Jimmy V, hanging out in his room. JP, welcome to the show. Hey, I appreciate it. Thanks for having me, y'all. Of course. So tell us, what are you doing right now? Right now, I currently got a movie up on the Xbox One, uh, posted in the room, man. There's not much more to that. Got a Pop-Tart next to me. <laughs> so life's good, man. Life's good. Well, it's crazy. What's crazy is we're going to hit you with some rapid fire question about quarantine later as we're talking. And you might have just answered three out of the four questions we're going to ask you all of that. Hey, <laughs> that little thing. Yeah, you gave us the little explanation of what's going on. And, and you just, everyone who thinks what quarantine looks like, this is what quarantine looks like. Man, this is it. Couldn't, couldn't have put it any better, man. Couldn't so, put it any better. You guys. I don't want to say you snuck in, but you got into the tournament. Yeah. Uh, a very weird scenario that if I tried explaining it to you a year ago, why you were going to get in, it wouldn't have made any sense. But you're in. So we're in. Team Jimmy V, how did you get tied up with those guys? How did you become part of the team? It's actually a funny story. I know uh, Vinny Patron. Uh, he's one of the guys who put together the team, and uh, he – Thankfully, uh, woke me up for one of the camps I went to in high school, the FIBOC, uh All-American like FIBOC shootout or something. And I actually like was went coming from Denver to the East Coast. The time difference, I was asleep during warm-ups for one of my games. So he came in there and had to come wake me up for one of the games. And then since then, we, ever, we had a good relationship. So then he reached out a couple months ago and asked if I wanted to be on his team for the Jimmy V and support the cause with Jimmy V got going. And obviously playing the TBT, so it was something I couldn't turn down. Basically, in, in short, you owe him one. Hey, that's – yep, exactly. You're good at this, huh? You're, good, you're <laughs> real good at that. <laughs> you're real good at, you know, capturing the whole picture of things. Yeah, that's what I, it, I love that's it. Why, that's, not everyone can be a professional podcaster. It's not easy. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, so, that's exactly what I owe him one. <laughs> so oh, when man. you were – when you were joining Team Jimmy V, did the cause play any part in you wanting to join that team of all teams? Yeah. Yeah, it was either uh, between here or one of the Gonzaga teams that, you know, they make an alumni team that jump in there. Um, but they end up pulling out. And like you said, the cause, my relationship with Vinny, um, something bigger than basketball um, and also basketball at the same time. So it's uh, once you can play, do something you love with um, – some silver lining behind it, you know, it's, it's a win-win. So I had to, I had to, I had to take the most the opportunity. So you mentioned it, um, you know, Gonzaga, obviously you're, you're a Gonzaga alum. They have some of the best fans. You probably would argue the, the best fans in the entire nation. How in the world is there not a Gonzaga alumni team in the tournament right now? Oh man, I don't know. Um, I think it's, I don't know. Is it Rem's fault? It's gotta be Rem's fault. Just because we, not, I know Rem could take it. You know, he got a hard shell. You know, I'm gonna put all the blame on Rem. You know, for this specific, this specific year. Um, but I know we were talking, and uh, I mean, maybe something shakes up in the future. But I think it's just a year off for the Zags. Um, we're we're busy right now. You know, I don't I don't know what it is, but I. But, but this, hopefully, you know, in the, in the future we can get something going. This is what you need to do. All right, you got to win the whole <laughs> thing this year with Team Jimmy V. So yeah. then you'll feel no guilt taking the LeBron way out, winning the title, and going back <laughs> to your home of Gonzaga and winning it with them next year. So you got to win this year. Hey, you just gave me more incentive to win, you know? I like that. There's more reasons we can get for us to win. Keep giving them to me. I need, I need all the fuel to the fire. Are you a LeBron or, or MJ guy or Kobe guy or, or Bill Russell guy? I don't know. I don't want to eliminate anyone. Is there is there an or? Does it have to be or? Or can it be and? It, well, sure, it could be and. I, I'm an and. I like all those guys that you mentioned. Um, I mean, it's obviously a conversation we could have for the rest of the night. With who goes above who and whatnot. But, I mean, all them guys deserve to be on the basketball Mount Rushmore. And uh, I'm just excited to see. Obviously, I grew up watching LeBron, so I'm excited to see what, you know, how his career finishes up. Um, obviously one of the best, if not the best, to play basketball. So 
and coming out watching MJ's documentary during quarantine, you know, all eyes were on that. Um, just seeing the stories that we heard, but we didn't actually get to see. Um, so, I mean, obviously, those guys are unreal at the game of basketball, man. It's just glad I get to be a little small part of it. You know, I get a small part of it. <laughs> Speaking of uh, – that's well, that's well said. They were unreal well at the game said. of basketball. That's well said. <laughs> Speaking of <laughs> speaking of goats, okay, you're yeah. playing the uh, goat score in the history of Conference USA in round one. Yeah. John Elmore on heard that. We are on record saying that we are heard that fans and we have heard that winning winning that game. Change our minds right now. Hey, John Elmore is my boy, but I'm think I think it's, I'm telling you now, you probably should hop side. You might as well get on the Jimmy V bandwagon now. But tremendous score, as you said. Big time individual, big time human, and I uh, he can shoot the piss out the ball. So it'll be I'm looking forward to the matchup. <laughs> I'll say this. I'll say this. First of all, I, you know, shooting the piss out of the ball is something people say, but every time you say it, it's funny. You know, it's, it's <laughs> but, hey, it's true. I only say it for guys that it's true for though. No, you're 100 percent right. Like you and me can shoot the piss out of the ball too, but you know, we no one on the podcast is saying that about us. But right. Um. Uh. My my question to you. Yeah. is every year you see in the NCAA tournament a team that sneaks in, quote-unquote, ends up making a run. Is that, Clearly, that's got to be you guys this year. You're the only team that snuck in. Exactly. We, we literally snuck in. So we might as well sneak into the tournament like we did and, and just keep going, ride the wave that we're on right now. You know what I mean? So I, we, we have to. You said there's always one team. It might as well be us. We might, it might as well. It's like the playing 11 game seed. <laughs> we need it all, man. <laughs> it's just your classic uh, play in. One of the teams had contact with coronavirus, so they had to drop out game. You know, your classic situation. Classic situation. Unfortunately, we ruined the West Virginia, West Virginia matchup, but hey, I'm in quarantine in a hotel, man. So I, I love it. I'm here. I'm in quarantine. Well, great transition there. You are. <laughs> Perfect, perfect transition. We're going to hit you with some rapid-fire quarantine questions. First question, we know you're watching a movie right now, but what's your go-to quarantine movie? Wow. I got to say probably Inception right now, man. That, that movie blows my mind every single time. I, I, I did not think that was going to be your answer. I thought you were going to be like, I like the movie Grown Ups or like Hoosiers, like something silly or something like sports. Inception, phenomenal answer. You can watch Inception it was, 75 times during quarantine and still not understand what happened. That's why it's such a good movie for quarantine. Every time, man. It's like I've literally watched it probably four or five times, and every time I got a different question. Like, <laughs> All right, ne next, question. <laughs> okay, next question. Okay, Next question. We could also talk about Inception forever. <laughs> next question. Go yeah. to quarantine video game. Wow. So I'm not really a video gamer, um, but I've been playing Mortal Kombat 11 a lot. Story mode got me locked in, fellas. Got some time. Some time was passing with it, man. And, uh, whoever made that game, the creators of that game, my, my hat goes off to them. They, they did their thing on this one. We can tell you're not a video gamer because you said video gamer and not just gamer. <laughs> so we can tell that you're not a gamer. See, I gave it away from the, <laughs> from the jump. <laughs> All right, quarantine go-to snack. Is it what you have right next to you? I haven't had a pop tart in probably months, but I'm smacked this one here. This, my teammate Marcus Towns gave me this one. This this pop tart has no chance of making it tonight. Did but they? Did they tonight, when you walked in, did they give you a bunch of snacks or no? Mm mm. Oh, Timmy, Timmy, dropping the ball. I could have been on the snack committee. That's what I really could have done. Me too. Shoot, for tomorrow we can go get some for the guy. No, you I'll, can't leave. Well, I'll door dash you guys something. What do you want? <laughs> Whatever. I'm not anything but mayonnaise on my end. I wonder if – are you allowed to DoorDash stuff? Not tonight, I guess. But after this, we are. Okay. So how are you going to know – how are you going to know that you can leave your room? Does, like, a buzzer go off or does someone come knock and say, like, come out? Hey, thankfully, I got this Jimmy V uh, DM message that I can hop in and just send whatever I got. Vinny and Alex will jump in there and answer any questions we got. Just don't oversleep before your first practice. Uh, no promises, man. 
Last, last quarantine question for me, the germless mask question were presented by germless mask, germless products. Are you feeling good? Or are you feeling healthy? Feeling healthy. Is that the, is that the right one? I don't, there's no order for that one. You can be yeah, that was, are you feeling good and are you feeling healthy? Oh, yeah, I'm feeling good and healthy. How about that? All right, we like that, and we hope to see you guys make it all the way unless you lose the herd that. Let's not lose the herd that. We need, we need that one. <laughs> I don't need that one just because of this, this, this podcast. You, I here's guess. some more incentive for you to win that first game is if you guys, you guys pull off that victory, we'll have you back on. Hey, see, I'm loving it, fellas. I love what we're doing here. <laughs> Another incentive to win that first game, if you don't win it, you're done. <laughs> Straight back on the flight, huh? <laughs> hey, that's the only incentive I need to hear right there. <laughs> there you go. So you before, go. before we let you go, we want to let you ask us some questions. Anything that's on your mind can be about Inception, could be about LeBron versus Jordan, whatever you're wondering, we'll try to answer it. Uh, can I ask my man Joey – how it feels to be a part of a team that got sat down by one of my teams. Um, let me start by, first of all, every <laughs> member of the team is, is a huge member of the team and everyone feels the loss the exact same way. With that being said, I think I, I, think I played a combined minute and a half in the two <laughs> games that we played. So... I don't, take, I don't take that question personally because I feel like no, if I'm no. out there, it's a different story. But that's not up to me. But to answer your question, it doesn't feel very good. Okay. Not, was, to, was, uh, was... not to make myself a part of this, but I'd probably bet on Ohio State both of those games and lost probably <laughs> 25 bucks wow. both those times. So there's a chance that I felt worse than Joey – after those you losses. Did I can tell you after the second <laughs> one in the NBA tournament, I was – so all the – I mean, like, I'm a crier anyway, but, like, when I lose a game with – I mean, those were you, – you know how it is. Yeah. The best yeah. friends in the world. You know? So I was so sad and I was crying so much my nose started bleeding. <laughs> so wow. I can tell you, so I can tell you that, Andrew, I don't care if you lost $1,000, you weren't more sad than I was. Yeah, I – I don't think there's any amount of money worth the feelings that you're talking about right no. now. I've been there four times, man. That that shit don't feel good no. at all. Oh. No. Well, what if you no. get the hundred thousand dollars for winning TBT? That'd be a good amount. What man, that's a lovely amount. I need that. <laughs> hey, I need that. That hundred sounds good to me right now. All right, Josh Perkins, thanks for joining the show. We're wishing you the best, but more importantly, we're hoping when you finish Inception tonight, you understand the ending. <laughs> hey, hey, I appreciate y'all having me, guys, but that Inception thing is, is I'm lost. I just got to accept the fact <laughs> I'm lost. <laughs> All right. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. We'll talk to you. Fellas, y'all have a good night. You too. All right, now.